Coming up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Jorge Game Bread Masvidal. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week. He's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to a bottom to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Texans. All right, he engages in the single follow tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Head kick partially blocked. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over three minutes to go round one. And now he lands a combination. Oh, nice high kick. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay submitted to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Liver kick. All right, single collar timeout. So just over 20 total strikes. Oh, nice work to get the takedown there. Good entry by Us. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Usman's got the full mount. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. in a great position now to dole out damage. He did a great job of stepping all the way across 
to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. Five minutes in the box. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. All right, here we go now with round two. Kamaru Usman and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Usman goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. 35 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Well, and certainly picking the spots well tonight, landing with 64% accuracy. Oh, yes. oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Oh. See, you don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the staff guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Usman. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Good punch, land. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight! Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Nobel and...